Hi guys, welcome back. This is another video in response to one of my previous videos where we went over how you can add a new row using a macro in Excel. Now I've had some requests to explain how this is done. If you want to add a new row into a sheet where the button isn't placed. So we're going to go over that now. It's fairly simple. There's two other pieces of code that we need to use. So first of all, I'm just going to explain how this works. On sheet one, we have our button, but where we want to put our new row is actually on sheet two. And we're also including a formula as well. If you haven't seen how that's done, please refer back to my channel. So this button on sheet one is actually going to go into sheet two, insert a new row, add our formula, and ping back into sheet one, such as this. I'll press this a few times so it's visual. You can see now we have plenty more rows where we've added new rows in, but from sheet one. So how do we do this? So back into our developer tab, press design mode, double click our button and we'll see some extra code. First of all, what we need to tell the macro to do is select the sheet where the uh, row is to be added. So we're actually on sheet one, but we're telling the, um, the macro to point first of all and select sheet two. Once that's selected, we tell the macro within sheet two where our range needs to be, so which cell to select, which would then define our row. We then apply some formatting to that area. We then add our formula in and at the end we select sheet one again okay if you don't put this final line in what will happen is once the macro is run it will leave you on the second sheet okay so this is essentially optional if you want it to go back to where the button is placed you can leave this out uh, you can include this conversely leave it out okay so if you're having trouble understanding the middle part of here, please refer back to the previous videos where we do go into what this central code means. If you are just looking to add things into different sheets, all you're interested in is a sense of the first line and the second line here. Okay? And also make sure, of course, that you change anything within the hyphens to what you want to be particular to your needs. Okay, I hope this has helped. Again, any questions, leave them down in the comments below and I will try and help you guys out. See you next time.